Hey, my loves. I'm sure you guys can tell by the title. This video is only going to be for my women. And I am going to be doing something a little different in this video. I'm going to use all my cards here to like pull intuitively. Well, you know. I'm, I'm going to explain it to y'all. So like pull like this. Just like take a card out, you know. Instead of shuffling the cards. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit because I really like to shuffle the cards and let them come out on their own. Yet spirit, I don't know, I want to like, I just want to go outside my comfort zone a little bit and just pull the cards myself instead of them coming out of the deck. So this message is only going to be for my women. I still advise my men to watch this video in case you're looking for some type of information concerning a woman. Just like I encourage you women to watch the, the video I'm going to upload for the men in case you're looking for information on a specific man. This is not going to be divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Strictly just for women and men. I'm going to do y'all first, ladies. So, let me shuffle it just a tad bit more, child. Just a little bit more. All over the place. I know. I know. I need a card at the top that's blank. Okay. shuffle it up a little bit all right feel like that's good enough all right so this is what I'm going to do let's intuitively pull some cards here sending you guys peace love light and protection my babes that thing big, ain't it? Okay, let me put it right there so y'all can see all of them. All right, so answer is this very guy for mine to yours. Let's see what God wants to talk about right now. What do you want to talk about, spirit, divine, ancestors, angels? Some of y'all make, um, my stomach growling. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> um, I'm getting something with that with my stomach, uh, growling. Something about you being hungry here. So, you could, if you, women, a lot of you could, like, really be focused on your bag right now. Like, you don't give a damn about no relationship. You, like, really focus on your bag right now. But I feel like that's very significant for some of you. And I think I talked about that in one of my previous readings. Probably the one I uploaded yesterday. But let's see what your first card is. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my God, a bit. I was kind of excited, but a little bit, you know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. Let me just pull the card. Okay. Leo, oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> ah, some of y'all Leos here. You could be dealing with a Leo. <laughs> I'm a Leo, oh my gosh. Okay, so what about Leo? Something about Leo season could have been significant. I'm going to try to take my time while I do this to see what all I'm getting to download with, with the cards before I move to the next card. Because I, like, really want to start doing this more often instead of just, you know, shuffling the cards. So, something about Leo season could have been very significant for you guys. And I know I talked about, in one of my previous readings, something about August 18th could have been very significant. Or something about the Lion's Gate portal could be significant. I'm also seeing, like, the infinity symbol that is 8. I'm saying something about what goes around comes back around, too. So, there could be somebody that's getting ready to receive some type of karma why are you getting ready to level up here? Which is another reason why you may be really, really focused on your bag at this time. Because you're being nudged to. Because there's something about you doing better for yourself that's really going to bring destruction for people who came up against you. <clears throat> I'm getting that. Somebody, there could be somebody named Leo that's significant as well. Hmm. I'm also saying something about 333. Something about a lion can be significant. I'm hearing lions, tigers, and bears. Isn't that a song um, by, uh, yeah, that's a song by, what's her name? Jennifer Sullivan, I think. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my, my, 
my um stomach literally sound like the growl of the uh lion. It literally does. Yo, something about you being like a big boss energy. Like you are really not playing when it comes to your money. And like I'm getting like the lion. Like somebody let the who we something about keep you in the cage. Like releasing the inner beast. Something about you releasing the inner beast. Like you going beast mode on people. You about to go beast mode on people, yo. Wow. Someone's on a big come up here. Big, big come up. Something is was definitely significant about Leo season for you. Definitely. You don't have to be no Leo. But you could be. All right, let's get some more. What else? Let me pull from here. <clears throat> okay. So some of my cards only have um, something on one side. Some of them got something written on both sides. That's another reason why I'm still using these cards because there's more things that I can put down as downloads. And I don't have to buy, buy more cards. I can just put it on, you know, this side. So let's see what this is. I'm going to turn it over. Someone did a ritual on you. Yep. I'm also hearing something about red, white, and blue. Something about, um, I don't know. I mean, what? USA. Somebody could work for the government here. Somebody could be a police officer with the red and blue. Yeah, I'm here now on one. Yeah, like, I'm like really chilling in this video. <laughs> like really. There is karma coming to someone here because somebody did a ritual on you. They could have did this ritual on you during Leo season and it backfired. They could have been somebody's last chance to like really demolish you or come for you. And now, yes, yeah, like there was they could have been somebody's last chance to come for you. I just heard God say. And now I'm about to release the beast. <laughs> oh my God, that's what I just heard. God, I just heard, I just heard I'm about to release the beast. Something about you going beast mode on people, yo. But it's not nothing like physical, like no fighting people or anything like that. It's just you being hungry for everything that you're meant to be hungry for and actually going after it. And shutting people the fuck up. <laughs> Whether they trying to come for you through magic, through word of mouth, whatever it is, you really shutting people up. You are. Yeah, somebody definitely did do something here <clears throat> during this past Leo season. I'm definitely getting that. I'm also hearing something about the movie You, the TV show You. I'm also hearing a song. Um, how about you, 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 you? About me, 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 me. What is that? That's a um. Who sing that song? I don't know who sing that song. Y'all, look at that eight sixteen on the timer as I look up eight eighteen. Yes, yeah, something was very significant about eight eighteen. I look right up and it's and it's on the eight. Like literally, there was something very significant about Leo season. Very significant about Leo season and even just August period. Something significant about August. Somebody did a ritual on you in August and this shit backfired on them. Let me see. They get something else. Fire. Oh my gosh. We got Leo and fire out here. Yo, releasing the beast again. Like somebody, you about, you about to set it off. I heard something about you about to set it off. This could be a group of people here too. I'm hearing something about set it off, a group of people here. But something didn't go as planned. Cleo, uh, Leo, Cleo. Was it somebody named Cleo in there uh, and set it off? Yeah, one of them was named Cleo. What was Cleo role? Which one was Cleo? I forgot. Shit, let me go get my other tab. <laughs> let me go get my other tab. Hold on, y'all, girlies.
12. Let me look at this song first. <laughs> I'm literally about to type in, it's all about you, 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 you. <laughs> That's all I'm hearing. That's all I remember. I don't know. It's giving me a whole bunch of different names, so let's just go to set it off. I'm pretty sure some of you can like listen to the lyrics that I'm saying and how I'm singing it and probably can tell what it is. Yeah, Cleo. <clears throat> okay, Queen Latifah played Cleo. And it was her idea to rob the bank. So the ring leader in this is about to be exposed. That's our, whoever the ring leader was in this group of people that did something to you, they were exposed. Something about a bank can be significant here too. Somebody's brother's death could be, a, be significant. I'm getting like things from the movie could be significant. Even the year that it was made, 1996, could be significant. Yeah, I get it. There's a lot of different things in the movie that could be very significant. Somebody could be a lesbian here. There could be a thing here where there's a woman attacking you here because they're into women, but you're not. This person, like, wants to be... I don't know even... This person could be into women, but it's like somebody wants to manifest off of you by literally having sex with you oh my goodness somebody could even did a sex ritual with a group of women here recently <laughs> yo wait <laughs> oh my goodness and a detective yo and i've been picking up on this detective energy for a while now and who was the detective close to the one that got away like so but i'm not i'm, I'm but I, it, of course it's the movie right so everybody participated in the movie yet there's somebody here that's trying to make it seem like you participated in the crimes here you you represent um jada pickett in the movie you represent jada pickett in the movie but in the movie jada pickett was involved but in real life, in this situation, you wasn't involved in this, but somebody trying to make it seem like you was involved. But there's a detective here that's like been probably on somebody's case for a while now. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody don't want something to come out. But something like really about to get lit here. It's about to get lit. That's something I'm saying. Another thing I'm getting with this fire. It's about to get lit. Fireman. What about Lil Wayne? Louisiana, New Orleans. I keep picking up on New Orleans. And I really believe it's because, you know, that's what a lot of tarot readers are. A lot of, like, you know, dark shit is in New Orleans when it comes to spirituality. Let me get some more here. I'm just going to do three, a row of three. Okay, we got Pisces. Wow, Leo Pisces. Wow, okay. So somebody could be a Leo Pisces cuffs here or something. You could be a Pisces dealing with a Leo, a Pisces, a Leo dealing with a Pisces. Something about Pisces season. When is Pisces season? Whoever this ring leader is who like represented Cleo and set it off, they could um be a Pisces instead of a Leo. <clears throat> something about two faces, something being fishy. Ah. My Wi-Fi went off. Something like real fishy. I'm, I'm picking up on fishy real heavy. Something like real fishy. Something something is off here. I'm getting something that's off. There's somebody putting two and two together when it comes to something. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. I'm being compelled to keep going here. Let's see. People are spying on you because they know what's happening. Yeah, because they did a fucking ritual on you. 
And again, I'm definitely getting like a sex magic ritual with this orange. Cause that's re that represents the sacral chakra. Orange represents the sacral chakra. Somebody did a sex, somebody, <laughs> somebody was doing a sex magic ritual and they was using like your pictures or something. Like, I don't know, child. It's something like that. <clears throat> it's something like that. That this person had like been, is being told to like leave you alone spiritually though. Somebody here is stuck in the same. Okay, let's back up. Pisces. <clears throat> Talking about two peas in a pod. With the two fishes on Pisces. Let me see when Pisces season is. Just y'all have no idea. And I am getting something about a reader here with Pisces because of the high priestess card. February 19th to March 20th is Pisces season. And I could have sworn I mentioned one of those dates in a previous reading. So something about February 19th to March 20th could be significant. Let's get some more here. What else? <clears throat> Try to sacrifice you to join a cult. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. But there's something fishy. Yeah, these group of people. Oh my goodness, y'all. Like... Somebody here is a part of some type of cult, right? Where they've been initiated into a cult, but they're not telling these people about what they're doing behind the scenes. And they ass is about to get lit on fire when these people find out what they've been doing and who they've been doing it to. You. I'm telling you, these, this, somebody has been using a group of people, a cult here, so they all can manifest, yo. Like this is like I'm, I'm like literally saying somebody like um like do shit behind the scenes and behind these people back like before they get ready to do rituals and stuff. They do sneaky shit because they using everybody's energy to manifest something while they're going up against you. Yo, it's like baffling. It really is. Now somebody here really actually. <laughs> And this is a this is a, a this is a cult that know they're a cult too. They know that what they do, they they intentionally do what they do to manifest. And it has something to do with sex magic. I'm definitely getting sex magic here with this fire and this car being orange. I'm getting sex magic and a woman like this is like something about a group of women. Could be some men involved in this too. <clears throat> Let me get some more. Let's go down here. So we got true love. And you find out somebody trying to get in the way of your relationship here. Maybe you had met somebody here. And this could be like a third party that's doing this shit. She want to be with you more than, uh, more than, um, she want to be with who she considered to be your person. <laughs> Yo, this is um, somebody that's a real live 304. I'm talking about she is a thoroughbred. 304 and we literally mess with anything men and women this is a demon in human form literally i'm talking about a true love here i'm not too sure what i'm getting at with that oh i'm hearing a song true love 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 so you need me like i need you and you can't be without me like i can't be without you you ain't i ain't heard that song in so long Somebody here could know a person that's in love with you and they don't want this person coming towards you. This person can even be a, uh, I don't know, I'm already getting it. So I ain't gonna see it. Uh, let me look up, look up this song. Saying this song, Faith Evans, True Love. <clears throat> I 
Okay, six years, five months. That's how long we've been having this thing. We've got every moment hasn't been perfect. But still, when it's perfect, it feels like we're the only people who have something real. Now, three years, two weeks. That's how long we've been raising our family. And I wouldn't go trading the love we got. So don't go changing. I love you just the way you are. I ain't gonna read the rest. Hmm. Somebody here is in love with you. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's in love with you. Something about faith here is important as well. I'm getting something about faith. Keeping the faith. Don't close yourself off to love, ladies. Like, be focused on your money, but don't close yourself off to love either. So, what I'm saying here is date. While you focus on your bag, date. Okay? Date. I'm not sure if this is somebody like a past person, like somebody thought you, you supposed to have been, been with, that they're trying to keep from you, or if it's a new person that you're supposed to meet, and they don't want you to meet that person either. I'm not too sure. Old person, new person, don't even matter. You are focused on your bag, but you are being told to keep your heart open for love because I'm getting that you somebody here, like you, you a really loving person, and you give out so much love to other people, you deserve to feel that shit back, and you probably ain't never felt it back the way you give it out before. And it's because of, I mean, you just had to grow. You had to keep growing, keep learning about yourself. You had to just keep going through life. So don't close yourself off to love. If there's something that you really do want. But stay focused on your bag right now. Let it come. Let it come to you. Okay? Don't chase no love. Let it come to you. And you're going to know if you're dating somebody and they ain't the one for you. Because you're gonna, they're they going to want you to chase them. They're going to want you to chase them. And it's not, it's not going to be all of them. Some of them ain't going to want you to chase them, but they said not going to be for you. But you already know that shit if you want one person. <clears throat> All right. Let me get something else out here. I like this. I like pulling like this. Let me go to the bottom, bottom. Let's go right here. Oh, we got crime. what I say? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is like a sex crime or like a spiritual crime. But I say somebody out here committing crimes though. Just like said it all. They committing crimes. And they're trying to make it seem like you're a part of it. Literally, somebody is trying to it's try, somebody is trying to implement you into their crimes. And it could be a fire sign woman. It definitely could be. And she could possibly be a reader. Or she just goes to multiple readers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody here do a lot. They do a lot. This person's gonna get a lot of people fucked up behind them. Cause some people that some of these people don't even know that their name is implemented. And I feel like the only reason why you're catching on to it possibly is because it's something you're meant for something bigger than whatever the fuck this this shit is she's trying to put you into. Like no, like if you maybe if you was like low vibrational, yeah, you know, nothing very important was over your life. Like spirit will let you go through all this, but no, there's something very specific about your life that's very important for the masses. So you you so no, they ain't going for this shit. Mm mm. Because, I mean, like, look at all these people in the world. Not everybody is meant to motivate the masses. Only a, a, only a couple hundreds to thousands of people are literally meant to help the masses. I will say probably close to a million, too, but it ain't everybody. Like, come on, it ain't everybody. Everybody ain't got that touch to, like, touch a whole, a whole bunch of people. And whatever way you choose to, because you ain't got to be no reader. You ain't got to have a YouTube channel. You, child, you can be anything. You can be anything. You can be a counselor. You can be a counselor. Like, come on now. You can be anything. But you are meant to help most of the people, though. That's the whole point. Okay. I mean, because you got some people that take these type of jobs, but that don't mean that they meant for their job. But, you know, because there's corruption, they'll be able to take it. This could also be somebody here that's in the public eye. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is somebody here that's committed a lot of crimes, but they are well known. They could even be in the music industry or the acting industry or something. I'm picking up on these damn movie and songs. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, that's what I'm channeling here. 
I'm just channeling different things. All right, let's keep it going though. They treated you bad. Wow. So these people really tried to do a number on you. They really did. They was doing a lot to you. And this is something that you was feeling at one point in time. Like you, you probably like literally felt like your ass was on fire. Like you, you kept getting hit with something back to back. Like a whole bunch of misdemeanors. Like not misdemeanors. Yeah, some of you even could have got a misdemeanor for something. Because somebody here wants you to go to jail. Somebody here is very envious of your life. Whatever God has over you, they're very envious of it. You want to know why they're envious of it? Because this is a woman here that is really a fucking demon. She is a walk-in soul. She has lost her way. She is a fucking demon. And this demon got her just out here. Just out here. Tormenting people. And demons are supposed to, not all of them, but of course there's some demons that's assigned to, to, to torment people, to torture people. And you're one of those people. And whatever demon she has on her, like, rec like really picked up on your energy. They picked up on something very powerful in you. And that motherfucker, like, really made her charge at you. So you could have went through a lot of things here within the past, like, four or five years, I'm hearing. Yeah. Or six, last six years. I'm going to say last six years. Some of you could have went through a lot of things here. That's why I'm, I'm picking up six years with this true love. I don't know. Even a person that you're meant to be with could have been going through some things here. Especially if it's like a high level soulmate or twin flame for you. Y'all could like feel very similar things that happens, you know, for each other. This is going to be a situation where this is happening to a man. This is going to be a situation where this is happening to a man. I'm, I'm just saying. But you're the one that this man's supposed to be with. That's why I say, watch... Watch the man reading too, ladies. Watch the man reading too. I'm going to get one more row. I want to get one more row. <clears throat> All right, let me pull some here. Wow, leave my child alone, deceased dad. This came out again, ladies. This is how I know that your dad, including God, is really out here causing some fucking damage for people. That's how I know it's real. It's come. It came out again. And this time I pulled it on my own. <laughs> it came out. Like your dad is like, no, my child will have everything that they're destined to have. You are literally inheriting everything from your dad. Whether you know this dad or not, you're inheriting everything from him. Something about your dad here, like, is very powerful here too. Yeah, something about your dad is very powerful. And as a matter of fact, y'all, I think I, I don't even think I'm gonna use no I, yeah, I'm gonna use some tarot cards, but what I want to do is like what I did in one of the other videos. It's like clarify each card, you know, with the same deck. So that's what I'm going to do. Because I want to see what your dad got to say in this reading. <laughs> okay. Let's get some more here. Somebody's dad is channeling a song. I'm not sure what it is. Wow, it could have been a song I was just reading. True love. That's what I'm saying. All right, so that means that you and your dad, you could have had a very close connection to your dad. Your dad could also be a Leo or a Pisces. You had a very close connection to your dad here. Like somebody was literally a daddy's girl. Girl, you are literally a daddy's girl. Oh my gosh. But not all of you had a close connection to your dad, though. But telepathically, y'all did have a close connection. It's like one of them situations where, you know, like, I'm, like, I'm going to tell y'all for instance for myself, right? Even though I still, I still don't fully know the dynamic between what really happened with my mom and my dad and who really is my dad, the one that's alive or the one that passed away, still don't really know. Um, but regardless, when I was growing up as a kid, like, I could, like, really pinpoint out a lot of toxic things that was happening in the family, even though I kept my mouth shut a lot of the time. But this is also one of them situations where you are a very smart kid. If your dad wasn't around you, you already knew, especially if you had a messed up mom, then you already knew it was because of how your mom was. It had something to do with however your mom was, because maybe you, maybe you and your mom didn't have no close connection here. But you like pimp, you could pinpoint on toxic, narcissistic like behavior. 
And without you knowing, you you think about shit that most people don't think about as a kid. Like, you can literally ask yourself, be wondering why your dad is not there, and then looking at your mama behavior, and as this genius kid, you putting two and two together. Oh, it's because of your ass why he ain't here. So I understand. We catch up, you know, when I, when I get grown. I'm just saying, like, because kids are very smart. You got to really get kids they credit, y'all. Don't, like, so, yeah, don't treat your kid like your kid ain't smart. Protect your kid. Don't stop hitting on your kid. Y'all kids are geniuses out here, the fuck? Genius-ass kids. Kids are, some of these kids are smart. <clears throat> and you could have, this could have been that situation for you. Not all of you, though. I'm not getting it for all of you. But let's keep going. Let's keep it going. I really do love doing it like this. Okay. Well, me, 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 my, I'm going to sort of go right here. Projection. Oh my goodness. Somebody here is a hate. No, I can't even say that. Let me not even say that because I'm not trying to really do this reading from an egotistical standpoint. Because, like I was just saying, this woman really got a demon inside of her. Because I'm definitely forgetting that this is a woman that's like a ringleader. A woman that can actually be a dyke. Yo. The fact that I just picked up on that, she, she could be. With uh, me referencing, uh, me uh, looking at Cleo, she could be a dyke. Or she, I mean, she she might look like a woman, a regular uh, sweet woman. But again, yeah, she like women. And she probably really played the hell out of men. She probably really is just really like, she really probably really do just like women. But she understand the benefit that comes with men. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This can even be a situation where this is somebody in your family, yo. I'm not, I'm even getting that. This could be like gay women in your family. Which would be even fucking more sick. Child, let me get let me get one more here. <clears throat> let me get one more. You wasn't gullible. You just trusted people, especially if they're family. Well, I'll be goddamn. What did I just say? This is your fucking family. For some of you. And I'm going to say for some of you. I'm not going to say it for all of you. So this woman, is, this woman here, if this is your family, then this is a woman here who, she never wants you to find love in your family. This is a woman here that's off the fucking rails. I'm talking about whoever this is, this bitch, she, she, she getting into a lot. She done been in jail a couple of times. She done been in jail before. This is somebody here who like really would do damage to people. And she tried to join a cult. Could have been like um, a cult in the industry. I was picking up on the industry. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of disturbing shit here. A lot of disturbing stuff. And I've been told not to speak up on most of it. I've been told not to say everything that I'm getting, but it's getting downloaded to me right now. So I'm finna, uh, yeah, like literally. There's a spot on this card, a blue spot on this card. And there's a red spot on this card. That's literally why I'm being told not to say much. Something about something is still being put together here, a crime. There's a crime here that's still being put together. So somebody is literally being looked into, looked into right now. Somebody is literally right now, what today is? 9-11. Oh my goodness, it is today. It's September 11th. Somebody going to jail soon. Somebody going to jail soon. There's something. This is about to be over with. This might be one of those type of cases here that have more people talking about uh, magic and shit. I'm just saying. Let me get some more here. Let's clarify this Leo energy. What about this Leo energy? Spirit, what you what you want us to know about this Leo energy? What should I pull from? Let's go here. What about this Leo energy? Poverty. Some of y'all did experience poverty here multiple times. Like I said, this could have been within the last six years. This could have been something you've been experiencing all your life, though. One minute you're good, next minute you're not. One minute you're good, next minute you're not. Happen over and over again. Yeah, some of y'all have been getting attacked by somebody in your family here since y'all was young. This could definitely be somebody in your family. 
somebody that really like women. And they pay the fuck out of men and women. And they could literally be sleeping around with women in the neighborhood, they friend girls, or even women in the family. I'm, I'm just saying, because there's some sick people. It is the people out here in this world. This person about to end up in poverty. There's that Everything that they wanted for you is about to happen for them. But it's going to be ten times worse there. Okay. Before I keep going, let me see here. Let me clarify this right quick. <clears throat> clarify this Leo here with poverty. What is this speaking of? Spirits. Spirit. Look at that chosen one about to come out. You are a chosen one here. Apothecary and fairy. I was speaking about fairies the other day. Your fairy godparents here is here to save you. Magic, glitter, enchantment. I told you something bigger. It's something bigger about your life. I just heard checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> yeah, there's a prophecy over your life. You have a destiny to fulfill here. And somebody has been using magic here. But what I'm also saying here, you somebody that's supposed to be tapping into uh herbs and stuff. You're supposed to be healing people for some of you with herbs. You're supposed to be like a medicine woman. Some of you miss to be a medicine woman. And some of you do have fairies here that's, that's really, really, really on somebody behind. You could have a multitude of spirits on somebody behind. Your dad, which is your ancestor, your fairy godparents, the universe, your angels. I'm just saying. I'm going to put it back though. Because it didn't come out, it just showed his face. Okay, what is this poverty here with Leo? Creator, yo. With lover at the bottom of the deck. And it fell right on top of true love. With lover. Yo. The creator really does do love, y'all. This can even be where it ain't got nothing to do with another person. Like a relationship. This could just be the connection between you and God. The creator. The universe. You know, because it's all the same thing when you actually look at it. And study different sectors of religion. And spirituality systems. It's just studying, y'all. It's all saying the same thing. But um, I digress because most people ain't going to look at it like that. Oh, well. Weaver of imagination, creativity, innovation, invention, realization. Somebody here was trying to come in between your creative abilities here. You really do tap in with the creator. I mean, this, well, this, this creator card is really just talking about, you know, like, you know, just doing things here in the physical world. It's not necessarily talking about the creator as in God, but I really feel like it is. I really feel like it is. I was, you really do tap into your imagination here, and somebody really don't like that. They want the energy for themselves here. And so I do feel like somebody here feel like you, you are destined for like a lover here, a true love. You are. Even though, even though I do feel like it's still talking about um, your connection to God here. <clears throat> Look at that two of cups. <laughs> and the queen of wands. Yep. It's a fucking fire sign. This bitch. Yep. Uh, somebody, a uh, family member. This bitch has been doing shit to you since you was a fucking child. Oh, but it's okay. And she about to get exposed. The sun is a fucking Leo. It's a Leo woman. It's a Leo woman. Yo, it's a Leo woman, y'all. I'm telling y'all. But you can also be a Leo here, too. But this is, this is, I'm not, I'm, t I'm telling you. Spit the date on the Queen of Wands. Oh, her ass somewhere scared, terrified about you actually putting two and two together, figuring out who the hell she is. I feel like you already know, though. She know you already know. She just afraid of what's gonna come for her. Cause you ain't gotta let it be known that you know who this is, even if they are family. This 
bitch know what she been doing. And she know how intuitive you are, how smart you are. All right. What about this creator here with uh, Leo and Poverty? I'm only going to get two cards. I don't want to get too many. Yo, that card just fell in reverse. <laughs> Came out upright, but it fell in reverse. Somebody is supposed to be a part of your family, but they ain't your fucking family. And your dad know. Your daddy know. That's why he telling this, leave my child alone. You supposed to be a part of their fucking family, but you don't even treat them like family. You was treating people like family that didn't have no type of fucking love or sympathy for you. Since you was a fucking kid, man, you done had older people come. This is somebody that's even, somebody older than you, bro. And they've been coming up against you since you was a fucking child. Like, yo, like, about to snap around this bitch. Clarify about the Cups reverse. But you about to find out more information on this. Because somebody ain't going to jail. What's the Cups reverse? Keep on on this dad card. <laughs> The six of cups, y'all. Like, I can't make this the fuck up, man. You could have been given something here. You could have inherited something from a dad. And somebody here is trying to take it. Or they, they did take it. Or didn't. No, because when the first card came out, what I say? I said that you are inheriting every Something about your dad is important here, too. Like, your dad can have a calling over his life as well. Whether he, whether he tapped into their energy in this lifetime or not. You are being handed down his gifts. Yo. That's crazy. That's crazy. Clarify that someone did a ritual on you. <clears throat> the car just slid over. Transfer your good energy to them. They're running out. You left. I was just being told to just look at that. Yeah, let's keep it going. I don't even remember where it was, so hmm, let's pull from here. Someone did a ritual on you. Misfit. Oh, somebody here was looking at you like a misfit here. You would never fit in, you know, the world will always look at you weird. There's somebody here that, that yeah, they ain't, they're not hip to how the world is changing. Mm -mm. Because they don't understand that the, the roles are flipping all over the world. Everybody who has been seeing a certain type of light here that requires like their ego to be involved, a way that they dress and everything like that, they're going to be the ones that be looked at as a fucking misfit. And the one that has always been looked at as a misfit, they are about to get pushed into the forefront. This is why there's a lot of hectic things that's happening in the industry, especially in the industry. But not just in the industry, in, in different sectors where there's a leader that's supposed to be involved people that are looked at as misfits from a very young age and you have survived so much and you and you are able to like hold on and really change and grow and heal yeah you're gonna be put into those positions there that's exactly what's happening what does misfit with someone did a ritual on you something probably didn't go right here either Yep, somebody put out the clown. I told you, man, shit about to uh, start changing. Somebody took a gamble here. Risk taker. Speculation, addiction, debt, fortune. I'll put some money. And I they asked for like a damn clown because something here is not working. Something didn't go right. Clarify this uh, clown with someone did a ritual on you, Miss Fitz. I'm going to try to hurry up so the video won't be longer than an hour. We got the higher front. Yep, somebody dead here. Yeah. We're well, supposed to be some type of leader here. And you been handed the baton. That's what I'm getting here with the Wheel of Fortune. You about to inherit every fucking thing that belongs to your dad. Everything that belongs to your dad, you about to be inherited it. And the wood is literally about to turn in your favor here. And it's about to go in somebody else's favor in a very wrong way. Somebody here is about to be completely blocked. What's a higher fan? I'm telling you, like, the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Your dad is transferring everything to you. Yo, the four. Look what just fell, y'all. Some of y'all 
even got a whole house out here. But even besides a house, it's like a gift, like literally in a, a, a gift on the inside to like achieve, to do, but something about the masculine energy, something about the masculine energy that is like within, within you as a woman, like your dad wants to like give you all of that. So you can be able to handle a lot here. Yo, somebody dad is like a big spiritual guy for them, yo. Like, and I'm like, I love this man. Like, he is really showing up in this reading for y'all. But it's like multiple dads here, though. Like, I just heard. Spirit said this is multiple dads with the two of pentacles. That's really out here, like, really going hard for their daughters here. Because times are changing. And this another reason why it's like that. Because, you know, a lot of men don't want the world to change. They want it to stay patriarchal. They don't want it to go to a matriarchal system. I know my words sluttering a little bit, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, but, and there's a lot of women out here that's supposed to be in certain positions. And their dad is going to make sure that they fucking get there. Do you hear me? Clarify this fire. Somebody's dad about to light some shit the fuck up from around this bitch playing with his goddamn kid. Look at that. A dot. I told y'all I was being told not to, not to say everything that I'm getting here because something is still being looked into. Something really about to go up in flames here. <clears throat> Clarify this fire with dots. There even might be a fire here that put a certain piece of a puzzle together. Child criminal almost came out. Yo, somebody trying their best not to go to jail here. Nah, y'all ain't going to jail, but nah, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Look at Bursaker right behind it. <laughs> But if I keep shuffling, what will come out? What will come out if I keep shuffling? Fire and dot. That almost came out. I'm taking it. The fucking detective. Yo, yo, yo. I'm not making it up. Somebody going to jail. <laughs> Somebody going to jail. And it's going to be a whole lot of people. It's going to be a whole lot of people that go to jail. Because there's a coven that's behind this too. Like, there could be a thing here where, like, I'm, I'm getting a thing where, okay, those regular people, regular people go to church, right? But of course, some of these regular people realize something about themselves that other people might not realize, like their gifts and everything, and other people's gifts. There's an organization behind something. This woman may work for an organization here, or there could be an organization here that just, they're very corrupt. And people like this go to people like this. They going to jail. All they are going to fucking jail. They going to jail. There's a church or something that's going to be on the news here. Like, this is something that's very big, y'all. Like, I'm really channeling here. I'm really channeling. Like, dead has really channeling. What does the detective here with criminal clergy fire with this dot? With the seven of wands. Somebody is not protected here. Somebody is not protected. It's like, it's going to be like a fight that go down here with these people. Somebody, I don't know. It's not going to be like a fight go down. Four of cups, a nine of wands, nine of swords. What's the seven of wands? Somebody ain't going to get themselves up easily. Another reason why they're not going to do it, though, is because they're a fucking demon. But, you know, y'all know how some of the police officers think. Most people don't believe in this type of stuff. They don't. But there's movies out here about stuff like this and everything. We got the ten of wands in reverse here. Yo, like, well, you know what I think I'm also getting here, though? This is a message for you. I'm hearing spirits say, I'm hearing God and your spirit team say, like, you can let your guard down. Because you are protected here. We we got this for you. Uh, yeah, like, letting your hair down, doing the thing that you actually love to do. And opening yourself up to love more. Because this is what's going to really push this shit into effect here. You letting your hair down and trusting that spirit got you no matter where you go. And actually believing in that each day that you wake up. And walking in that every day that you wake up and go about your day. And not letting whatever, be, whatever happens to you in your life stop you from living your dreams. Stop you from doing the things you always wanted to do. Stop you from loving. No matter how many fucked up relationships you've been in. Been in of course, heal first. But you not stopping is what's really going to push something into full effect. So keep going, y'all. Keep going. Keep going. Trust in yourself. 
keep going okay don't don't hold yourself back from anything that makes you happy don't hold it back let's get some on this pisces here <clears throat> we're all connected mm. that's giving me like the high priestess energy something about pomegranates can be significant like yeah like seeds okay high priestess card because I'm, I'm seeing the high priestess card of course, because that's Pisces energy. Yet, it's like, um, something about, um, Gaia. This is like, um, okay. Let's go down. When it comes to the God energy, the God energy for me is about a man and a woman. I'm getting something about the woman God energy. I don't know. This card right here is sticking out, though. Let me, I'm sorry, I tried to end you. Wow. Wow. So this person was supposed to be a part of your soul family here. Somebody here was really supposed to love you and care for you, but they didn't. They didn't. And now this person don't want to apologize because they tried to end you. I'ma take it. Because it was sticking out and I and I just seen it, so I'ma take it. Clarify this, I'm sorry I tried to end you. We're all connected. We're Pisces. Like being all kids, like yeah, that's okay. That's what I was getting with that mother energy. To her, we are all her kids. So, yeah, continue to, like, be playful here. Because most people, like, they get out of their play for energy. They kid like energy. And this is something that you possibly always been able to hold on to, your kid like energy. Your innocence, your purity. And somebody never understood that. A lot of people never understood that. Because you can have a lot of people secretly come up against you and your family. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be keep it a buck with you. Clarify this. Junker. Somebody here is going through it. Somebody dad here is watching somebody like literally drink their life away. Because of some magic that they did here. To a chosen one. And I don't want to say this, but somebody could be committing um the S word here. That's what I'm getting here with this writer. Somebody could want to do that. Because of what they did to you and the karma that they they facing behind it, they can't take it. Clarify this drunker. I'm sorry to end you. I'm sorry I tried to end you, Pisces. With this, we're all connected. They a child just seen a death card. Oh my gosh! Somebody may end up passing away in the um drunk driver, yo. And I hope they don't. I hope they don't end up hitting somebody. Somebody. Mm. That's why this person going through is because of whatever they did to you. They got the Eight of Cups. I heard, keep on walking, la. Keep on talking, la. March into the freedom land. Ain't gonna let no sheriff turn me around. Turn me around. Turn me around. Something about Selma could be significant. Alabama could be significant. Some of y'all could be from Alabama. I heard Bama. Talking about Bama, Bam, ooh, the gun. Oh, my goodness. Somebody here about to get ready to transition, y'all. That's another thing I'm getting with this Eight of Cups. Somebody about to transition. I just, this is what I'm getting. I'm not even going to lie. What's Eight of Cups? I've seen the death card as soon as I split it. The Four of Swords. Yeah, I'm ready to go to the next card. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to, I don't know. Child, the devil, somebody about to go straight to whatever they deem hell to be. Oh, wow. I'm not going to get no other card. Somebody about to get ready to meet the devil. Whoever they deem for the devil to be, somebody about to get ready to meet them. Somebody about to meet their maker. Because, baby, somebody here is literally ran by the devil. And if you into esoteric knowledge, ladies, then you already uh, know that the devil it really represents a lower vibrational energy. The devil really don't exist. But, you know, for people who think like this, oh, they're about to meet that person. <laughs> they think you real? Are you really down there? They think you really there? Even though it's really a mindset, it's all about a mindset here. As above, so below. The Baphomet. If you understand, you understand. 
But if they think his ass real, like physically real, and it can't be that because some people, hey, you, you go around here acting like a devil, you do devil-like things that people consider to be devil-like things because it represents what we always deem to be what the devil has always deemed to be for us. Yes, <laughs> wow. I also heard Highway to Hell. Somebody on Highway to Hell here, like literally, this person like drinking their butt. Let me keep going. Clarify people are spying on you because they know what's happening. Baby, like, let's keep it going. I have 5.44 on clock. Want you thinking of them? Look at that narcissist at the bottom here. Yeah, you got a lot of narcissist. Like, I'm, I'm not going to take it, though. I see it, but I ain't going to take it. Yeah, you got a lot of narcissistic people in your family here. It was so easy for them to band up against you here because <clears throat> narcissists are <laughs> really like demons, to be honest. It's really demons. Reptilian-like energy. If you know, you know. Clarify what you want you thinking of them. People are spying on you because they know what's happening. Some people don't want you to forget about them. We got spy with painter. Ooh, with elder. Yeah, these are some older people in your family here that was trying to paint a certain picture of you and was spying on you and shit. Like, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your daddy seen it all. Seen it all, baby. Y'all just seen homeless. Somebody wanted you to be in poverty. We got a lawyer here. Something about a lawyer. These two cards just fell out. Somebody going to jail. They could also be a lawyer going to jail here because he didn't do his job right. Care about this lawyer here with could have been covering up crimes for this person, especially if she was having sex with him. Once you thinking of them, people are spying on you because they know what's happening. What's this? Yeah, crime. Yeah, something. Yep, yeah, there's a lawyer going to jail here too. Six of swords. What is six of swords? Guidance. Guided. I'm getting like a guard, a police officer though. Like taking somebody away. I'm also saying spirit like moving you. That could be somebody watching you, stalking you. What's the six of swords? The seven of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. I told you, man, somebody, your dad really about to set them up. I mean, your dad really about to set you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah what I just said, you moving. Yeah, your dad is moving you. Baby, somebody, your dad is really all over their life. Your ancestors are all over your life. I'm telling you, your dad really do love you. Whether you knew him or not, I'm, I'm being really, really compelled to say that because not all of you would know who he is. But no, he did love you and care for you. And all, it's crazy. I was just talking about that um, the other day. I was telling somebody that, you know, I feel like men who are not able to be in their child's life, like, should keep memories and stuff. Like, take pictures and everything like that. Write, like, letters and things. Like, let your, like, let your child know that you actually tried. But I totally agree with walking away if the baby mom is giving you a whole bunch of drama. Like, I don't care if you agree with it or not. I don't care, baby. I agree with it. Walk away. If she is making a living hell, walk away. Walk away. But keep things to make to let that child know as they get older that you tried. Most people don't think like that, though. Most men don't think like that. All right, clarify this tribe to sacrifice you to join the cult. I'm going to pull from here. Oh, we got a blank card. I heard what was the reason. So somebody's trying to trying to hide the reason behind why they did something to you. Because it was probably for nothing. Somebody did this shit to you for nothing. That's another thing I'm getting here with this blank card. It was literally for no reason. They had no reason. Play about this blank card with they tried to sacrifice you to join the cult. We got air. Succession, legacy, lineage, descendant. It's because somebody wanted what your dad is inheriting to you. What's it already inherited to you because you're like a chosen one here. We got ghosts. Silver servant. 
put this air blank card. They tried to uh, sacrifice you to join the cult. We got the Knight of Swords coming out. Impulsive action. Yeah, somebody, they, they, they ran too fast to do this. It's like they, they got a reading on you or something. And a reader told them, like, oh, this person going to get this, get that. They ran to join some type of cult here. They really thought they were going to be able to replace you. What's the Knight of Swords? Yep. With the damn death card. With three of pentacles. Yo. This is going to cause an ending for a lot of these people. Judgment. Seven of Swords. I told you, I felt like somebody was doing something behind these people's back. They didn't know the reason behind, yeah, that's the thing I'm getting with this blank card. They are unaware of the reason why this person wanted to join. They about to take this person out. So whoever this is that tries to join a cult, this cult is about to take this person out. They could be bringing this person down. Like, yeah, they all going up against this person. Because they like, like, there's questions being asked. What was the reason? Because I'm not going to say all cults are bad or anything like that. This could have been a good cult that they joined. Maybe they didn't realize it, though. They just wanted to join a cult. But they was doing shit here. That somebody caught on to, I feel like. All right, let's clarify this true love. What's this true love here, spirit? And you need me like I need you. Chosen. You have chosen blood inside of you, and you are meant for a true love here. You are. Watch the chosen one card probably come out. <laughs> or diviner. Clarify this chosen with a true love. Champion. <laughs> you gonna be victorious at the end of the day. So yeah, keep your heart open. Keep your heart open while you out here dating. Okay? Because you want to meet somebody that's really gonna be there for you. What's this champion chosen? With uh, true love. The damn demon card, y'all. Wow. What's this demon card? And this is another reason why. I told you this is this is you up against a demon. It ain't necessarily the, per the person in your family. It's the demon that sniffs something on you. This chosen energy. Y'all have to realize that when it comes to some of these people that's coming up against you. Family, friend, lover. Some of these people actually have demons inside of them, y'all. Y'all really got to believe in that. What's this demon card? The hermit. I told what I say? With the moon. This demon sniffs something in you. They've been the ones coming for you, and they've been body hopping. They've been body hopping. That's what I'm getting here. Let me clarify this demon card, though, because, you know, when that card come out, I got to get a little bit more. What's this demon card? Community. I don't know why, but this kid in the middle stuck out to me. You could be, like, a middle child or something. Something about a middle child, a middle man. Something about a middle man. I'm also saying that it's something about a community of people here. Yeah, it's a community of people here who have demons inside of them that's attacking you. Could be this cult, you know. Ain't no telling. Not gonna get warmer though, y'all, for that demon card. So I like to like get some themes for that card in specific. What's this demon card here specifically? Let's see. Any mini might know. Child, you safe. Okay. <laughs> Spirits say you are safe from this damn demon because there's only so many people that they can body hop from to even get to you. Clarify about this crime? What about this crime? So, good news there. Okay. Good news there, y'all. Afraid of the karma coming for them. I told y'all for these damn crimes they've been committing. Oh, but it's coming. What's this crime here with afraid of the crime coming for them? Even this lawyer. It could be this lawyer here. I feel like it's all of them that's afraid. We got Angel. I'm hearing Angel of Death. The Angel of Death is really knocking on doors right now. What's this 
angel with um afraid of the karma coming for them with crying. Yeah, I'm living here an angel of death. It's coming for them. Okay, he's been on dad. The devil. I'm just saying. Because ain't the devil like considered a fallen angel? King of Swords coming out sideways here. This damn lawyer. Yo, something about a lawyer here, bro. Because the fetish King of Swords came out and lawyer is right here. Yo. Who is this? This lawyer been doing something like some shit he ain't got no business doing. What's this King of Swords? Somebody going to jail. Okay. But they ain't backing down. But some, I'm telling you, man, somebody here is not going to back down without a fight. I was getting it over here. And I'm getting it again with this nine of wands. But either way it goes, his ass still going to jail. He's going to go in alive. He's going to go in the body bag. But they are going to fight. I'm telling you, this going to be like a fight. This person is not going down without a fight. Okay, well, you go ahead and fight your way through that, bud. <laughs> you go right ahead. Okay. Clarify so they treated you bad. Let's see here. Closing door. You are closing the doors on anybody who treated you bad. And boy, do it got them in their feels. They want to do what you thinking about them so you can get them another chance. And some of these people, you don't even know them, but they are speaking to you telepathically. Clarify closing the door. What they treated you bad. That's what I say, thinker. They are speaking to you telepathically. I'm telling you. Then I just say some of these damn people you don't even know. And then a stranger came out. But they are speaking to you telepathically, like, please forgive me. Please, like, you got to understand. But you don't even know these people. But they wanted to fucking challenge you, though. They wanted to come up against you. Wow. Clarify closed the door with, they treated you bad. They're a stranger. Yeah, these people are blocked from coming towards you. Queen of Pentacles could be an earth sign. You could be an earth sign. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Two of Swords. Yep. So there's a Queen of Pentacles involved in this that's going to jail too. Our Earth sign could be a man or a woman. So something about our, this rabbit is significant here. With the Four of Cups, wow, she in major regret here. She's in major regret. Like she's even scared of like accepting certain things that's coming towards her because she don't even know if it got a, a, a kick ass of karma attached to it. Yeah, she's going to jail too. There's a lot of people that's going to jail here. But they, they know this. Now let's get to this leave my child alone. This he's done. And look at the timer. It's literally an hour eight and eighteen, y'all. Let me see. Okay. Where you want me to pull it from? Which one you pull it from, Dad? Okay. Here? Here. been saying god and your dad are not playing no games with these people <laughs> can i this god print with oh my gosh leave my child alone to see dad yo <laughs> spirit like pulling from right there like <laughs> influencer you will be known all over the world as you are made to some of you supposed to be a content creator didn't creator come out here? Yeah, some of you supposed to be a content creator. Like I say, however you choose, but you're meant to help people. You're meant to influence people. And they've been trying to stop you. Like, man, they gonna learn today, huh? Clarify this influencer God print will leave my child alone and see that. I know that's right, Dad. I know that's fucking right. With the Six of Pentacles, what I say, you inheriting everything. Everything. Wow. Wow. Like somebody dad really do love them. God really do love you. And the more you believe in that and actually do things here that make you feel love. Wow. Like give them nine of cups. That's ten of cups right there. Ace of cups. Nine of cups. That's ten of cups right there. And then you're going to meet somebody. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I gotta get one more. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, y'all. I got too excited. I seen the Eight of Swords again. The Ten of Pentacles, y'all. Oh my goodness. Didn't I just say that with the Ten of Cups right there and then the Ten of Pentacles come out with the Six of Wands? Man, I'm telling you. Your dad is gonna make sure that you be in the spotlight no matter what. Do you hear me? Man, these folks better stop playing with a real one. Somebody going to jail. Someone going to jail behind these crimes they may have been committing against you. What's this projection here? I'm going to hear something about a projection screen. Talking about school. Karma. Clarify this karma. <clears throat> We're projection. Homeless. Wow. What I say, whatever they wanted for you is happening for them. Whatever they were trying to project onto you is happening for them. What's this homeless here with karma and projection? You got temperance here. Something being balanced. Something about a Pisces here. Somebody here is a Pisces with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody going to jail. What's this temperance? I'm going to say it again. And I'm seeing it. We got the tower. I just heard it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Give you your crown back. Somebody trying to take your crown by coming for your crown chakra, aka your mind. They got to get that shit to put back. And it's definitely family, y'all. We about to clarify the last card. Whew. Clarify you wasn't gullible. You just trusted people, especially if they're family. I mean, what's wrong with trusting your family, huh? They, I mean, they're family, right? They, they're supposed to have you back, right? Yeah. But you want to know why your family is one of the greatest systems to attack you? It's because the family system is not what is braided to be. Like, we come, we're not really supposed to be a part of no family system. It's, most like, it's, more so, it's more so supposed to be a community. We're supposed to be a community, not really separated in families and stuff. I'm just saying, you know, you ain't got to believe it, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's clarify this. <clears throat> Where am I going to pull from? Okay, I'm going to pull from here. Wow, I love you, deceased mom. Y'all, I told some of you it was your mom. These cards, yo, I told y'all. Yo. But still, just know. That this mom, on a deeper level, does love you. Even if she did come for you. I don't even say anything thing for my mom. Because my mom came for me too. But I still know and I realize something that she's not ever, ever able to realize in this lifetime. What this, what this is on a deeper level. Why she came for me. Wow. Because for some of you, it was your mom that started this. She could be your creator. Your mom, she could be this Leo. She could be a Leo rising. If she's not born a Leo. Wow, that's crazy. Something about a fire here too. Like house fires and shit. Like, I'm, ooh, that's crazy. But I remember a couple house fires that happened at my mom's houses. Clarify this, I love you to see mom with. <clears throat> I guess her last word is going to be, I love you. You wasn't gullible. You just trusted people, especially if they're family. <sighs> Look at that, y'all. I'm not making it up. Someone here about to meet their maker. This is a lesson for them to learn this lifetime. For coming for their own seed. Wow. Spit the deck on the Eight of Swords. Some of these people are going to jail, and some of these people are about to literally lose their life here. I'm just saying, that's what I'm getting here for all parties involved. Clarify this great robber, learner. I love you, deceased mom, with you're not gullible. You just trusted your family. I've seen the Ten of Swords, and they tried to sacrifice you with the world. Hmm. Something about a closing of a cycle. Yeah, this cycle about to be over with. Somebody about to transition with the world. The three of swords. Somebody here know it's over with for them. They feel it. They see it. They sense it. They know it. They just know it's over with for them. 
All right, y'all. I'm just going to pull one more card here. Just one more. Let's just get one more to close this out here, Spirit. I'm going to use this card as an oracle card. So what oracle card do you want the collective to know when it comes to this reading? Because I ain't pulling no other card besides what I'm going to get for this. And I'm going to clarify like I did the other ones. So let's get the card then clarify it. What's the oracle? Abandon. Yeah. You was abandoned on purpose here. You, you felt abandoned on purpose as well. It was all a part of some type of tactic here to take something from you. But they will learn in this lifetime. They will learn in this lifetime. Clarify this abandon. Let me see. Let me pull from here. We got please, y'all. Expose ugly truth. May hurt, y'all. Fake documents. I've just been told to look at the back of the cards. Somebody here is going to be pleading for you not to abandon them. I say abandon you. And it could be your mom. I'm just saying. Clarify this abandon with please. <clears throat> we got curious. Somebody here want to send you a message. I feel like there's a multitude of people here. People that try to control you. But they only they only did this to themselves. They realized that they was the ones being controlled this whole time by the divine. Wow. To help you see your full potential here. Wow. Lost soul. Literally just fell out. Oh my goodness. These people thought you were lost. They didn't think that you were loved here. And some of you was like, yeah, you was looking for, um, yeah. You wasn't a lost soul necessarily, but your dad like felt you and seen you. I don't know when your dad passed away or, or when the separation happened between you and your dad. Maybe, you know, you didn't know him since you was born. I'm not sure, but like I said, it really don't even matter because like that's what I'm getting here. Like your dad was like, was like sensing some type of abandonment wound off of you something like oh my shit like whether he was dead or alive i'm that's what i'm getting here your dad felt you some of this happened after your dad passed away for some of you i should have been said that but i'm also getting something about just these people here being lost souls clarify this career with abandon please there's also people that abandon the mission here yeah, they abandoning their post. That's what I'm getting here. This is like a postman. They abandoning something. With the lovers in reverse because it was a bad idea. Because you're safe. It was a bad idea. What's the lovers reverse? Some people are aborting mission because it was a bad idea to do this to you. With the seven of cups. And with the two of wands. And the crazy part is, some of these people just thought about doing it. They didn't even um, exercise in joining these people, but they, but they knew what was going on. They knew this person's idea to do something to you. But they didn't tell you, they didn't warn you or anything. Seven of Cups, Star, with the Three of Pentacles. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read my birthday, you guys. I really do hope y'all enjoy it and take something from it. I said I wasn't gonna get no uh ain't no answer to message. I'm not gonna get one. I'll see y'all in the next video, my loves. I shay. Mwah.